Howdy folks. I thought the best way to try to describe what I'm attempting to build is with an illustration here. Now 3-axis gimbal is a camera frame system with rota rotating parts on three axes in which a camera is mounted. It's very much like a gyroscopic stabilizer with the frame moving around a nearly motionless camera and it can provide pretty smooth footage when filming motion or outside running around. I'm just draw drawing in here where the camera mounts and it sits on a platform which needs to be adjustable in the three axes for balancing purposes because the, the whole frame and the camera needs to be balanced perfectly and so this is going to be pretty challenging to build and it also needs to be pretty strong that's why I'm building it out of carbon fiber. Uh, points 1, 2 and 3 represent the three axes of rotation and that's what I'm trying to build. Let's give it a go. I had this old Solomon rollerblade frame hanging around for years and I've always wanted to make something out of it. And this is a perfect opportunity. It's got really nice bearings. And the frame is actually extruded titanium, so that may come in handy. I wanted to use these bearing housings as the pivot points for the frame and so I just cut them down, cut off all the plastic and I left myself with one spoke so I could get some leverage. I'm using balsa wood for the basis of my frame and I'm making it slightly larger than I would like just because if, if I try to make it too small, it'll just simply break or split. I got all my bearing housings all sitting in nicely in their balsa wood frame. Now it's time to get some carbon fiber on there and this is a technique I used a while back when I was trying to fix my RC car and it would break constantly the little plastic parts and glue, gluing them together just wouldn't work so I would grab four or five carbon fiber strands from boxweed cloth or twill and I'd mix up some resin and then I'd squeeze that resin into the carbon fiber strands and then wrap around my structure and that would give me a bulletproof joint and then I simply carved away the balsa wood here and that gave me a nice channel in which to lay more carbon fiber and I could build my frame from there. I'm making up this little frame jig out of right angle aluminium from the carcass of an amp that I had lying around. It's very essential to have a jig when you're dealing with something that requires high balancing accuracy and this worked pretty well. This is where the titanium frame really came in handy. Uh, it's really strong and I could cut out, cut out a little piece which can house it, house the nut that I need to attach it to the other part of the frame. Just building the rest of the frame of this arm using balsa wood. Probably not the most ideal way to, to build like that. It's ideally built on the flat, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. Got a nice shape. And I just made a, a channel here on both sides to accommodate some carbon fiber so I can get some initial strength into the frame and I got everything ready here before I did the laid the carbon fiber just like to have all the tape all the gloves everything at my fingertips it makes things less messy this worked pretty well just laid it on one side then flipped it over on the frame and laid up the rest in the channel and then taped it up 
hard at the at the bearing end. And I was really actually really surprised at how strong just with that small amount of carbon fiber in it. I built up the frame and I cut these diagonal channels into it and then I could lay my carbon fiber strands in there and this gives it incredible strength even just that small amount of carbon fiber in that shape is amazing strength and I over wrapped it with carbon fiber and then taped it up real hard and then I could just sand it down into the into the ultimate shape that I wanted I had to do a little bit more wrapping here and there just to just so that I could fill little gaps and make it look pretty but i um, really happy with the way it turned out also with this it's just one piece you know there's no need for carbon fiber plates and added bolts try and keep it all strengthened and stable it's just one piece of carbon fiber so it keeps the weight down and it looks immeasurably better And I sanded it down real carefully just to just to get it balanced nicely and spinning freely without any wobble. Good to finish this section and uh, the next section will be quite hard because it's the platform on which the camera sits which holds all the all the balancing devices and that's going to be a bit tricky but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. 